Shah Re Sukte, or in English, Burnt City, is an ancient archaeological site in southeast Iran, which was a human habitat from 3200 BC to 1800 BC. The name is a reference to the amount of ashes found throughout the city. There have been several unbelievable archaeological findings that show the residents of this city demonstrated advanced knowledge and understanding of municipality, crafts and medicine. The city had five districts, including a graveyard, residential area, industrial area where furnaces were located, and an area where monuments were displayed. A clay drainage system is an example of the surprising discoveries in the city. No weapons have been found in this site, giving an indication of the peace that was enjoyed in the city. They likely had guardians outside the city perimeters to protect them from enemies. From the explorations of Burnt City, we know there were industries and activities such as basket weaving, textiles, fishing, pottery, metallurgy, woodwork, net weaving, and jewellery design. The residents of this city considered death as a stage of life like birth. Around 40,000 graves were discovered across the ruins. Graves were laid out with no specific order and of about 10 different shapes, three being more common than others were found. The shape and direction of a grave was based on the dead person's belief, and from that we find out people with different beliefs and religions live together. Some people believed in the sun god or light. Other people worshipped cows as they were a good financial source. And around 20% of society was completely secular. Individuals were usually buried dressed in clothes or covered with a shroud. Couples were sometimes buried together. Where one passed away before the other, the grave was reopened to reunite them. This was not common 5,000 years ago. In some graves, more than 100 objects could be found, including such items as incense burners and marble torches. Even domestic dog skulls were found in group graves. In some, lots of garlic bulbs were placed, believed to keep bad spirits away. Findings in women's graves included possession seals, indicating a matriarchal society, wherein women were in charge of managing financial matters. In one grave, which appeared to be that of a 25-year-old nobleman, a spoon and a pottery vessel that stunned archaeologists were found. On the outside of the vessel was depicted the oldest animation in history, showing a goat jumping and grabbing a leaf from a tree. The animation could only be seen by spinning the vessel very fast. In a group grave lay the remains of 13 human bodies and three dogs. A skull found in the grave, which belonged to a young girl who was suffering from hydrocephalus, drew attention of experts who were not only surprised that the ailment had been diagnosed, but that the skull had been cut triangularly to drain the cerebrospinal fluid. It is believed that she lived for about six months after the surgery. 
Another jaw-dropping discovery was made during the archaeological investigations. The very first artificial eye in history, dated approximately 5,000 years ago. The owner was a 182 centimetre tall woman who was taller than most in her time. The artificial eye was held in place using golden threads of less than 0.5 millimetres thickness and the eyeball was worn throughout her lifetime. It's not clearly identified what the eyeball is made of but seemingly it's a mix of natural bitumen and animal fat. According to the ordinary plates found in her grave, she wasn't a rich woman. Different hypotheses suggest that factors like drought, fire and infestation of roundworms led to the eventual abandonment of the city.